hello in this video we are going to see about how to create a snapshot snapshot creation we have two types that we will see from uh, where we can create the first method is go to the navigation menu and come to the compute engine then go to the storage and then here we have a snapshot click on snapshot here we will have an option called create snapshot this same uh, window we can come from either it is from pd as well i mean persistent disk as well go to the disk and then uh, see here three dots are there right there if you click on uh, three dots and then create snapshot both will open same window but the source disk will come by default so that uh, instead of going from the disk that is simple one so i'm just going to uh, start from a snapshot window so here click on create snapshot here before going to the lab session uh, just brief about snapshot snapshots are global resources so uh, the snapshot multiple disk can be created from a single snapshot so mainly snapshots are useful to create a periodic backup from persistent disk to use as a baseline for new volumes or for backup of data you understand right uh, which is useful for to create a periodic backup from the disk and also uh, here one more point we have snapshot process takes a place asynchronously and the data will be stored into storage buckets which is owned by google cloud platform which means gcp uh, i hope you understood the basic brief about uh, snapshot why we are going to create uh, now the snapshot name snapshot bt learn which means best tech learn you have to subscribe to my channel and then demo then hyphen one snapshot so snapshot for a periodic backup i'm just giving the uh, description i'm just giving this one okay now source disk from which disk you are going to create a snapshot that you need to select it here i'm just giving this disk here and then type is snapshot see here two types were there the basic snapshot is which is useful for long term backup and disaster recovery and another is for archival snapshot that is best for cost efficient and data retention but now i am just giving a snapshot simple one now go to the location you need to select whether it is multi or or uh, single regional now just i'm giving a multi regional then go to go down here you will have a optional so, uh, sorry enable application consistent snapshot i'm just not giving that one now just click on create option so it you can be able to create a snapshot now now by using this snapshot we can create a we sorry one second so you can restore a deleted persistent disk also okay so before that see our snapshot is created now uh, i hope you understood well how to create a snapshot and then in the next video we will see how to restore a persistent disk from the snapshot that we are going to see I hope you understood well how to create a snapshot and what is the purpose of creating snapshot. Thank you so much.